Hey there, tubers. We've reached a milestone today. 50 hours on the uh, CT5555. We've had it uh, not quite a month yet, so it uh, it's getting some hours put on it. So today I'm going to do the 50 hour service. Uh, the 50 hour service is pretty simple. You've got four items you got to deal with. Uh, hydrostatic filter, hydraulic filter, uh, check your brake pedal free play, and check your alternator belt tension. So I've got a few things here. This is the hydraulic filter. It's a 7379332. And this is the hydrostatic filter. It is a 7002299. And I got some transmission differential fluid uh, to top it off once I pull the filters. So the hyd hydrostatic filter is tucked behind the fuel tank here. Doesn't look like it'll be too bad. Then you come around to the other side of the tractor and right out here in the wide open is the hydraulic filter. I like it when things are easy to get to, and that is definitely easy to get to. Once we get those two pulled and drained, we'll come back here. We'll check the oil with the dipstick here at the back of the tractor, and if we need to, we'll add some in that hole right there. So I'm going to see if I can break that uh, filter loose and get it swapped out before I lose too much oil. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so now I'm uh, behind the fuel tank here, working on the hydrostatic filter. And I'll give it a tug here. And it broke loose pretty easy. Yeah, so this won't be too bad at all. Get this off and out of the way so you can see it. Just going to pull that off. Try and get the new one on as quick as possible so I don't lose too much fluid. And go from there. Alright, I got that new one in there. Went in pretty easy. And conveniently they put this bar here. So uh, keeping things nice and neat and clean is a little more difficult. You can see I got some oil, came down, dripped on it. But I'll get that cleaned up and uh, we'll move over to the hydraulic filter. See you in a bit. Well, I'm over here on the hydraulic filter side and it's a good thing it's out in the open here because it took both hands and a few uh, choice words to get this thing broke free. So I'll get that uh, spun off and uh, get the new one on there and we'll move to the next step. Just on a quick side note here, I thought I'd let you guys know that uh, these filters come with a plastic seal around them. And I get a lot of filters these days that are just thrown in a cardboard box, don't have any kind of a protective cover on them whatsoever. And you could get little pieces of cardboard or dirt or debris inside of them. So the fact that Bobcat puts this on uh, all their oil filters is a good deal in my opinion. So we'll get back to it here.
that's a pretty strong magnet there. It's hard to get the filter off and back on. All right. So as you can see, we lost a little bit of oil. Not too bad. Made a little bit of a mess. I'll get that cleaned up and uh, we'll go check the oil and see what we need to add. All right, now we're back at the back of the tractor here. I'm gonna pull the dipstick out, clean it off, and stick it back in. See where we ended up. And we didn't lose too much. We're just a little ways above the low mark. So I'll go grab a funnel, take that off, we'll add a little bit of oil. And in case you guys were wondering uh, why I didn't let that oil continue to drain out of the filter there, this is a filters only change. We're not changing any of the oil. That doesn't happen until about the 400 hour mark. So there wasn't any need to continue and let it drain. All right, I got that uh, oil topped up. It took more than I thought, uh, just about a gallon and three quarters. So not quite two gallons. Didn't look like that much in the pan, but by the time you fill the filters and uh, get the gearbox back up, it took it. So next we'll move on to the brake adjustment check. All right, we're back in the cab here. We're going to check the free play on the brake pedals. So what we've got to do first is to release the brake pedals. Once released, then we'll make sure we uncouple them so that they're independent of each other. And then basically what we're going to do is from a side view here, until you feel some resistance, we're going to check the difference between here and here. And it should be somewhere right around an inch. If it's not, then we'll have to come over here to this turnbuckle, loosen it up, uh, the jam nuts anyway, and then uh, adjust it till we got just about one inch of travel. So I'll grab a tape measure here. Hopefully I can do this with the one hand. If not, I'll set the camera down here. All right, well, I couldn't do her with one hand, so we'll set the camera down and hopefully you can see this. So right there, it's showing an inch and a half, which is uh, too much according to the book. So I'll loosen these jam nuts up and I'll make an adjustment. All right, 14 millimeter is what this is. So I broke both the jam nuts loose. And I'm just gonna turn this by hand a little bit and check it again. And apparently it doesn't take much because that's now a little too tight. So we'll loosen that up. Loosen it up just a little bit more. Huh. And that looks like right at one inch. So I'll tighten that back up and we'll check this pedal here, see where it's at. All right, let's check the right pedal here. And it's about an inch and a half, like the left side was. So we'll move over to this side of the console and do the same thing. We'll loosen those jam nuts and adjust it just a little bit. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna give that a little tightening. 
see. And I'll check it again here. Ooh, that tightened it up way too much. So we'll loosen that back up. Very touchy adjustment. And that went just a little too far. And back again. Right in there should be it. All right, so I'll tighten these jam nuts back up and we'll recheck both sides to make sure we're good to go, and that should be it. All right, so they both checked out right at an inch. So we'll lock them back together because the safety feature on this tractor is you gotta put the brake on every time you get out of the seat and you can't do it if it's just one pedal so you gotta lock them both together to make that safety feature work. So our next uh, item is the alternator belt tension so we'll move out to the engine and check that. Alright so over here on the uh, left hand side of the engine got your alternator and your alternator belt and you are to check it at mid span so right in here somewhere and put 15 pounds of force on it and see if it deflects no more than a third of an inch so this might be a two hand project here I'll see if I can do it uh, one handed but basically I'm going to put a tape measure right in there shows about uh, inch and three quarters and then I'll try and put 15 pounds of pressure on it and see what happens hopefully I don't screw this up too bad for you but it's gonna be a bear I would say that's roughly 15 pounds of pressure and we're about uh, inch and three eighths so I'd say we're pretty close to the third of an inch close enough that I'm going to leave it so that's basically your 50 hour in a nutshell pedals belt filter and a little oil questions or comments uh, leave them below otherwise I'll talk to you later bye bye